What's up guys? I got uh, another video today. Today I am working on these tail lights I've got here some clear replacements so I'll be working on that. Um, I'm gonna go over the process, it's not too hard, but you know, some people just don't feel comfortable doing it. So there's that. Um, for this, I am gonna get a new, not new, it was used fuel rail today from a friend that I will try out. Um, I may have pinched a fuel injector, trying to put it in, force it in, and stuff like that. So that could be my fault. Um, but also, while everything was happening, I just had the fuel rail kind of sitting around everywhere. So I don't know if maybe I placed it down somewhere where it could have gotten damaged. So. Um, Replacing the whole fuel roll with injectors already on it is going to be the easiest, I think, in my opinion. This time I'm going to lube them before putting them in. I think that may have been an issue also. Um, I've got here some uh, ATF. Well, that's the Euro trans fluid, but yeah, it's still ATF, so... Um, yeah, I will be back with more once I get some more updates. Back. Also, I don't think I've talked about it much, but, um, I do have brand new highlight lenses in here that I want to get ceramic coated so they don't fade uh, very fast. But I've also got these projectors, and I don't know if you could tell... Yeah, like they've got like a blue or purple tint to them. That's going to be replaced for the 46 because if you've ever owned a 46, you know how terrible the light output is. Um, the old projectors, they kind of just stuff them in like every car possible. And it's just an old outdated projector. Most of the time, the projector bowls get burnt from the excessive heat over time. And... Um, the output gets even worse. So my job is to save them. Um, but also, not many people know before I really dove deep into cars, headlights were my uh, that was my forte. So I am very picky about lighting. And I just want the best output for the So I will get back to that. Time to get this tail light out of the oven. All right, so I got one of these lenses mocked up here. Um, these don't have any kind of a, like a lip on this side so they could sit inside the groove. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to use headlight beetle. Let's just go all the way around, give it a surface to lay on, but also give it that weatherproofing that it needs. Um, so, you know, water and stuff doesn't get inside of it. But yeah, I might need to go buy some more of that. I didn't realize I was so low already. Um, but yeah should come out pretty cool looking once it's done so i'll uh, update you guys more on that later okay very important step try and get out as much butyl out of the channel that you can the old stuff um just so that the new stuff has better stuff to adhere to but um yeah it's never gonna be perfect there's no way you can get everything out of there it's fucking hard um, also, pro tip, heat gun, 
while you're going around. Uh, get the bugle soft. It's much easier to get out when it's soft. It's harder just when you're fighting it. So um, I'm going to set the butyl, set the lens, place it in the oven so it can, you know, add here. But um, I'll show you when it's done. All right. Got one done. You can see here um, some of the glue like seeping out. It's good. That means it's going to be pretty good seal. Um, but yeah, so is that one? I'm going to go pick up this fuel rail real quick and then I will be right back. So, that. Yeah. All right, I got the uh, fuel rail in. Moment of truth here. We are good to go. And fuel still spraying out. That's cool. At least it started. Alright. Here's test number God knows what. Gotten the fuel rail off like five times today. That's the one that came with the car. That's the one I bought. I stole a uh, O-ring from one of these. Oh, this one for my OEM injector one because the one that I told you guys before that was just pissing out, it was missing an O-ring. So that was the only one that was leaking before. So hopefully, if I replace the O-ring. Or not replaced, actually put in an O-ring. Hopefully no, uh, hopefully no fuel. And what do you know? No more fucking fuel leaks. Got it. Fucking got it. Anyways, yeah, fuck this car. Figured it out though, so. Pretty stoked on that. Um, shit, that's it. Just gotta put everything back together. Um, well, the rest of it is not much. I just need to put the AC filter housing thing, beauty covers. I probably won't even put those on. But yeah, we're good to go. We're golden, boys. All right, so we're running. We got no more fuel leaks, you can't see it because I already closed the hood, but you can't smell it either. But um, yeah, that's it for for this video. Um, appreciate you guys if you're watching this. Um, this is awesome feeling to have this thing back again. I mean, I missed it. Truly did, now I just gotta fix the AC, but I've done too much lately. I'm kind of done. This car needs a wash big time. But, um, yeah. See you guys next time.